Teacher, I never plan my work. It takes so much time and I don't even think it's helping me. I used to think that way before I enrolled at Writers at Work. Students often never realise the value of planning their work. How do we plan? And why must we do it? Here's what my Writers at Work teachers taught me. Remember these two steps and you will never find yourself scrambling for time again. Plus, you will understand how the planning can help you. Step 1. Keywords. Your story plan is for your eyes only. Skip the sentences and go straight to jotting down the important actions and feelings per paragraph in keywords only. You're not going to forget your main character or setting, so leave those out. Just one line per paragraph will do. Is your story mountain looking like one? Your plan should work as a quick view of your story's content, where all paragraph's key actions are visible in one glance. Do this so later when you write, you know what happens every paragraph and you do not have to stop halfway through thinking of what to write next. Step 2. Have the key ingredients of your composition topic been talked about? Remember to check that you have included your compo question keywords and phrases that describe your chosen picture or pictures in your plan. Your planning should tell you ahead if your combo really talks about the composition topic and if you can use your chosen picture many times in your story. This way, you wouldn't run the risk of going off topic or not using your picture. That's it! Just two simple steps. Do your planning within 5 minutes and this will help you breeze through your composition writing later on. The more you practice this process, the faster it gets. Repetition is key.